Hello, Rick N3FJZ here, and just want to show you the completed VFO BFO module for the uh, Max SSB. And um, you can find details, schematic, and other parts of the rig documented on my website. Uh, just do a search with my call sign. And you will find something called um, Circuit 6040 Homebrew Ham Radio under RemyPark.com. And in there I'll have all the parts of the uh, Max SSB. And the module that I'm showing here today is Module 120. which is the VFO BFO and it is this module right here in the block diagram it's part of a uh, a bidex like rig the VFO BFO module uh, is the primary uh, local oscillator and it uh, is comprised of a SI5351 and its output feeds the uh, mixer module 220 it also feeds the BFO signal to the uh, pro product detector balance modulator module 180 and of course it's controlled by the front panel module 110. Here's the completed module on its little tin plated carrier board and I just solder it straight down and uh, bring out the control leads to the uh, homebrew terminal strip and the uh, Connections to the mixer and product detector will be made by coax cable on the edge here for the three clocks. I just solder it directly on, or you could use a uh, SMA connector. Okay, for this test, I want to use um, two of my other rigs. I'm going to use <clears throat> this one here which is a uh, the prototype for the front panel as a frequency counter and it's being clocked by the GPS module so it's going to, I assume that this is pretty pretty accurate because it's being driven by the GPS system and on the other side I have another front panel which I haven't published yet but basically it does the same functions as the uh, the first front panel but using a uh, nano Arduino nano clone and I'll be using this module here to actually uh, set the frequency and uh, cr trim the master oscillator crystal using this controller here okay for the first step I have the what essentially is the frequency counter connected to the um, the generator port which is terminal 9 that's where the 10 megahertz signal would come out and this one here of course I'm setting the trim and here is the frequency counter I'll bring this guy up to close to 10 megahertz as I can get it and I'm trimming it at, at the moment. You can't see it on the other controller side, but I'm watching it here. Okay, here's our roughly 10 megahertz output. And I'll save that. Okay, so uh, this controller is controlling the, uh, the VFO and the BFO. Right now the VFO is at 1.810550 megahertz. 
and we'll go ahead and change that to the VFO side. And we're reading uh, 1.810550, so it's right on with what the controller is requesting. And since we trimmed the master uh, crystal using the 10 megahertz reference, we're good there. Okay, and then I'll check the, the BFO. Let's see, the BFO is at uh, 9.001550 megahertz. And we have the same here, 9.001550 megahertz. So I would call that test a success. Okay, and some of the features, I uh, might as well demonstrate the features that the controller can set the drive level. For instance, we'll just pick the, the, the BFO output. Okay, and here's the results on a scope. There's no load on the, uh, the module at the moment, so it just creates something close to a square wave. And as I add more drive, it just distorts it at this point. But this signal would be sent to the, uh, the product detector balance modulator. Okay, and the controller can control all three channels, clock zero, clock one, and clock two, independently of each other. Okay, seven three, everyone. This is Rick, N3FJZ.